Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video and this one's going to be on fragrances that I would wear to the gym or that I do wear to the gym. And I say would because I'm about to stop wearing fragrances to the gym because I'm about to start my college semester and usually I stop going to the gym in the city and I go to my college campus uh, recreational center and so I go before classes. So I usually clean myself up then I spray my fragrance. But these are the ones I've been wearing to the gym this summer. And before I say something about the fragrances, no point in wearing a fragrance if you don't have deodorant on because you're gonna stink. I feel like this should always be a first. I barely use this one because sometimes it's really strong and like messes with my fragrances, but I always put deodorant on. This one's not that strong, doesn't have a super strong smell. And it's antiperspirant, so it stops the sweat from even happening. And it's ultra clear, so. You don't have all that stains and stuff in your armpits and all that, you know what I'm saying, on your shirts. And so the number one fragrance, even though I hate on this fragrance a lot, this is perfect for the gym. I'm usually never in the gym for more than two hours. If I'm lucky, I'll get two hours. I usually get 30 minutes to an hour and a half with this fragrance. Very fresh, clean, and simple. This probably won't offend anyone in the gym because it's not a strong projector. So... You're not going to be giving people headaches while you're in the gym. And it, it should last you your whole workout unless you're doing like a 15 exercise full body or something like that. Or taking 10 minutes in between each freaking like rest period. But all these easily last me the whole workout. Once I come home, I'm still smelling like these for the most part. And with the second fragrance, we got the classic Versace Pour Homme. Easy fresh, clean, not super loud. And also, do I never spray more than three sprays when I go to the gym, two on most days. Just hit a quick little, huh, huh, anytime I go to the gym. So even though I'm, even though these fragrances aren't even strong, I just don't wanna offend anyone. I just spray enough. I noticed two sprays with all the ones I'm gonna show in this video, I will get whiffs of myself occasionally throughout the whole workout. And I don't, like, cause the gym smells horrible. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Gyms do not smell nice. A lot of people there, they smell like they don't bathe or anything. Like the gym smells genuinely horrible. But yeah. And next we have Aqua de Joe. Um, this one doesn't last long either. That's why it's on this list. Okay, all of these, they're all pretty much cheap and not super strong. That's basically the, the gist and they're fresh smelling. This one will be the most expensive on the list, but this is a gift, so it's not in our own pocket. So, but you can probably get that cheap clone from Walmart called like G, G something from a Perfumes Bell Cam. I heard that smells pretty similar to this. It's cheaper, should last you the whole time you're in the gym, but two to four hours projection, longevity, not too strong. Lasts a decent while. And the last fragrance I wear, this cheapie right here. And the reason I wear this one sometimes, because you would think a clone of Sauvage EDP would be very strong, but this one's not that strong. It's like, because it, to my nose, it smells almost identical to Sauvage EDP, but this is like a toned down version. This one does not project as monstrously. It does not last as long. I get about four, four and a half hours with this one. It's not a longevity beast. And it doesn't project like a monster either. It lasts it lasts a good little while, but it does not last the longest, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't want thing to say. What else was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say, but yeah, all these fragrances, they should last your whole workout. Well, they all will, unless you work out for like 30 minutes. Well, not 30 minutes, like five, four hours. They smell pretty good. None of these, these are all mass appealing for the most part. I would say Aqua de Joe and um, Savo Intense May, because I know some people who do not like this. Like uh, my girlfriend, this is one of her least favorites of my cologne. And I remember I sprayed this and my mom said it felt like bug spray. So I would say these two are the least safe, but I've had no one walk up to me or say anything to me in the gym about my smell, but I've never heard anything negative about the way these smell. And the reason I don't like this one and wear it to the gym is because 
It do not last long. It's perfect for the gym, if, if I'm being honest. It's perfect for the gym, for real, for real. Yeah. Oh, I also had an idea to track some of my workouts. For That's what I was going to say. To track some of my workouts and do like a road to like 220 pounds. Because I may not look it, but I'm like 195. I'm like 6'4", six, 6'3". Six, so I want to know if you guys want to see like any fitness content. I can track my workouts, tell you guys what I do. But yeah, if you guys want to see that, comment that down below. It's a plan I had for a video. But I don't know if it would do well or not. So I never like, I guess, did the video yet. But I want to do like a road to like 16 inch arms or like road to 220. And I'll track my workout throughout my uh, current semester in college and share the journey with you guys. Cause I'm trying to get big and swole, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and y'all have a wonderful rest of y'all day.